Okay, it's time for God's people to stop making excuses. Right? I'm going to give you a scripture to help you. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Is anything left out? I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. So there's no more room for excuses. How many times we hear, I can't do it. I can't do it. And I agree with you. There are some things that you and I cannot do. But I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. See, there's no excuse. I remember one time my father-in-law had asked me to do something and I thought to myself, I can't do that. And the Holy Spirit spoke to my spirit and said, will you let me? And I thought about it. Well, if I let you, if I let the Holy Spirit do it, that means he's going to use me. And what he made me to understand was, will you let my strength do this through you? In other words, will you do it with my strength? And that's what Paul is saying here. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. So Paul is saying... I must depend upon Christ's strength. Amen? So we can't make excuses. No matter how difficult, no matter how hard, no matter what it is that we've got to do, we can do it through Christ's strength. I know we're always looking for some loophole, right? We're always looking for some way out. We're always looking for an escape. How many times I've heard that scripture used, God will not put upon me only as much as I can bear. He won't put on me any more that I can handle. Well, you can use that as a crutch, or you can see what it really means is God is not going to entrust you with only what He can, ha- what you can handle. So, that should be a challenge. That should be something that you look at and say, I want to get into a place where God can put that upon me, where I can bear that load. Now, you can't bear it in your own strength. I can't bear it in my strength, even though the Lord says that his burden is light, his yoke is easy. It's only light because of his strength. Case in point, when the uh, priests were carrying the Ark of the Covenant on their shoulders, they had to go great distances carrying that Ark on their shoulders. It was very heavy. And they couldn't just put it down whenever they wanted to. And it wasn't their own strength they were carrying the Ark with. They were carrying it on their shoulders, but it was God that was empowering them. Are you listening? So that's why it was uh, such a terrible sin when David learned from the Philistines how to roll a cart around on wheels. That was a dishonor, because if you know anything about the ark, it was a type of the throne of God. The mercy seat was above the the ark. And so the pharaohs were carried on the shoulders of their servants. And so 
God. His throne was being carried on the shoulders as a king in the earth, being carried as the king of the Israelites. And so when they began to roll the cart around on wheels behind a, a dirty, filthy animal, this was dishonoring to God. And David said, because I did not seek God after the due order, this has come upon us. A man lost his life. Now listen to what I'm telling you, folks. God does have a set order. He has a way for us to serve him. And you and I can't serve him in the way that he requires except with his strength. You and I cannot please the Lord in our own strength. You and I cannot bear the burdens with our own strength. But I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Not some things. Not just what I want to do. But I can do all things. Now let's look at some of the things that Paul was having to... uh, do. Listen to what Paul says. In verse 12, I know both how to be abased, I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things I am instructed both to be full and be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Now, remember the things that Paul the Apostle had to endure. Many different things he had to endure. Imprisonments. Different times he was in the deep, in the sea. uh, Beaten with rods. The list goes on. The different things that Paul the Apostle suffered, he couldn't have done it without the Lord's strength. So let you and I stop making excuses and start leaning on him, right? Start leaning on the Lord's strength because he is able to do exceeding, abundant, above all we could ever ask or think. Let's stop limiting God. Let's stop looking at our own uh power or our own ability and let's start looking to God's power and to God's ability if God ever asks you to do something or has you to do something he's going to give you what it takes to get the job done he'll never ask you to do something without giving you the ability without giving you the equipment he will equip you for the task So there's no room for excuses. Not one time should there be any excuses to the believer. We have no excuses. Amen? All excuses have been removed. We cannot make an excuse anymore. Now... If we've heard the truth and we know we can't make excuses and we're not willing to lean on the Lord for his strength, then it is sin. It becomes sin. So after you hear this message and you choose not to lean on the Lord, you're in transgression, friend. When you make try to make excuses why you can't do what the Word of God requires. Amen. I don't care if you're dealing with an addiction, whatever it might be. God is able to deliver you. Even people that are not even saved that go through detoxes, they're able to do it through the process. They go through with withdrawals and they go through all different things they have to go through, sweats and everything they go through to be clean. Well, do you think you and I are going to be exempt as we go through the detox process spiritually? As God takes us through the fire to be purified, to be detoxed? No, there's going to be some suffering as the Lord weans us away 
of those things that we once uh, felt like it was our life to do. You know, there's people today that they think alcohol is their life. They think drugs is their life. They couldn't live without them. They have to be weaned away from those things unless God works a miracle and delivers them in one moment. He can do that. People that need deliverance from nicotine, from smoking cigarettes. People that need deliverance from a lot of different things. And, hey, unless God gives you a miracle and delivers you right on the spot, yeah, you're going to have to go through withdrawals. Yes, you're going to go through a process where you're being weaned away from those things. It's a process of sanctification. It's a process of purging. But we must continue in his word until we receive full deliverance, complete deliverance. And then once you receive full, complete deliverance in that area, you can say that you have overcome that area of your life and move on to the next area and then the next area until you conquer every single area in your life through the power of God, through the grace of God, through the strength of God. So stop making excuses and start overcoming by the grace of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Take God at his word. He's able, he's able to do what he's promised. He's well able to do what he's promised. Are we willing to take him at his word? Let's stop making excuses. Amen. God bless you.